Welcome to the hour of feeding on Jesus International. The Holy Spirit is our helper. Hallelujah. Our reading Bible verse for today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. And the word reads The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it the full, and have it to the full. Amen. Beloved, Jesus wants you to have life and life up more abundantly. The more grace is preached, the more the Zoe life of God will quicken within you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper in all things, and He only flows through grace. The Holy Spirit can only flow within us when we are living under grace. Under the new covenant, the Holy Spirit is a pro the Holy Spirit is promised to us. In other words, the Holy Spirit is promised to us under grace, under the dispensation of grace. Jesus talked about the Holy Spirit when he was in the upper room with his disciples, and he revealed that while he will not be physically present in the days ahead, the Holy Spirit will be given to us as a helper to help guide his disciples and us. Beloved, be conscious therefore of how much the Lord loves you. The more conscious you are of his love, the more you can love on others. Your spouse, the more conscious you are of God's love for you, the more you will love your children and love others. God's love is always greater than your love for him. In Matthew chapter 22, Jesus answered the Pharisee who asked what God's greatest commandment in the law was. Jesus revealed, you shall love the Lord with all your hearts, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Matthew chapter 22 verse 34 to 37. Beloved, we know that only Jesus fulfilled that commandment when he was on earth. Jesus was the only man who loved the Father with all his heart, soul, soul and mind. Jesus was the only man whose perfect work on earth pleased the Father. Wherever Jesus went, he brought healing. Wherever Jesus went, he brought restoration. Wherever Jesus went, he brought blessings. Wherever he went, there was jubilee, freedom and victory for those who encountered him. Let us therefore not focus on our love for God because that is self-righteousness. Instead, let's focus on how much God loves us and let him do a wonderful work in our lives under uh, grace. One example is Abraham who did not stand before the Lord as a doer but as a believer, a a recipient and depository of all of God's blessings. Brethren, trust the Lord because He is always ministering to you in spirit. Trust that the Lord is always ministering to you, the spirits, equipping you with His wisdom. Whatever you might be doing, as part of your daily responsibilities, cooking for the household, parenting, or working. Believe that the Holy Spirit is constantly supplying you with the wisdom of what you need to do and whatever needs to be done. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. Listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit because... He is our helper. He is our guide, our teacher, our counselor, our comforter, and our advocate. Amen. Share this video and stay connected to your daily grace inspiration message on um, Feeding on Jesus International. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for my latest inspirational messages and bring others on board Feeding on Jesus platform. Shalom. Remember, God so, so loves you. 
He cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Shalom and bye-bye.